Ago, ago, ago. My name is Toto Sao. Today's topic is meditation. Today we want to dive into meditation. We want to talk about meditation. Today we want you to know that our forefathers have what we call meditation. They did have what we call meditation. So we are going to talk about it and compare, you know, and try to know the difference between spirituality and spiritism. So that is the topic for today. Let's go for this song and come back. Robin as a sway, as a sway, as a sway, as a he As a su as a su oyomi eh akpa today we are talking about meditation okay it looks like today if you come to the african soil to the african land it looks like we kind of don't have what we call spirituality, what we call meditation. It also look like everything we do is voodoo, 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 voodoo. No. We have what we call spirituality and spiritism. And spiritism is what we call voodoo system. Spiritism happens to be the problem solving system. So the voodoo system that we have, they are problem solving systems. We also have spirituality. And this spirituality, once you're on that path, it takes you to the creator. It takes you to the abode of the creator. That is the reason why once you are in this life, you must go through a fan initiation. You, mu you must go through a fan so that you know your path. So that's what you know your path because everybody must, it's a must that you know what we call spirituality. A spiritual journey is individual. No two persons under the sun can follow the same path to the creator. The reason is looking at everything we are all different there is no two things that are equal everything is separated so looking at spirituality you must it's a it's an inner journey you must go through your inner self and this your inner self is a fact if you haven't gone through a fact initiation it means that you are yet 
to open door on spirituality. So today, if you are practicing voodoo system without being an initiate of a fan, what you are doing is you are using the problem solving system to help people, to help yourself and everybody in the community. But your own spiritual journey to raise your daloso, to raise what? Da loso, your soul, you need to go through a fast ceremony. Then it will open the doors for you to see the law and order that came together to form you. So spirituality is individual journey. And our ancient fathers did teach us the way. A fan is the way that can lead you to your creator. That is why in a fan we call something poli. The word poli means po and li. The word is two. Po to see. Li is the path. So your poli, what is, is showing you is, is directing you to your path, where you came from. The various individual uh, law and order that came to form you, that path is there that you must climb upon and get to the Creator. So if you haven't gone through a fast ceremony, there is a need that you go through a fast ceremony. That is the only way you can attain your spiritual self. So our ancient fathers, they have spirituality that you can go within yourself. You can meditate. You can go through your own effort and attain the abode of the creator. So if you haven't gone through that ceremony, please, you must be preparing now. Go and get yourself initiated. So we have, let me take you through this powerful spiritual song that our ancient fathers left behind. Um, the way Do Hamikale Ho. Dalo sona plum dodo maya jigu 
bajigo ya nyanyi kliutori Blong dodo maya jigo Blong dodo mai salo Saya shau na plong do do mai sao besanya nyep liu todi plong do do mai sao plong do do mai sao lo Koji klau na klom do do mai sao Besanya nyep liu todi Klom do do mai sao We have spirituality, and our spirituality is so deep and touching. It's so deep and touching. So there is a need for each and every African child to come back home and embrace African spirituality. African spirituality has been there since and it is time we lift our ancient knowledge system it is time it is time it is time so once you go through a fan initiation what will happen is that you are going to know the law and order that came together to form you. Now, once you know this law and order that came to form you, this law and order, it has rules and regulations that is governing it. Then if you know these rules and regulations, it means that you can perfect this law and order. Now, this law and order came to where this body woli and mule body so this law and order is your soul that i'm talking about so your soul or in a far we call it loso so your loso came and where this body this body is what we call in a far woli there is a white body under this one we call it mule so this woli also has its own rules and regulations its own law and order the one the, the body under this one the mule body also has its own law and order its own governing principles so what you need to know is the rules and regulations governing your two bodies so that you can be able to control these two bodies once you are controlling these two bodies then the two bodies will become very light for your soul to grow and expand so the soul sitting within you is what we call loso we also call it daloso the reason why we call it daloso is that da is the developer that helps the loso to expand or grow so now you know the rules and regulation of your soul you also know the rules and regulation of your two bodies so the ball is in your own court now how can you perfect these rules and regulations for you to grow how can you do that our ancient fathers created every path down for us so we can be able to understand 
and grow spiritually. So what I'm saying is that there is a need for us to understand ourselves. If today you are doing meditations, you are doing what kinds of spiritual practices, but you don't know the rules and regulations that came to form you, that is governing you. You don't know the law and order that came to where this your body. How can you grow? Where are you going to start from? There is a need for you to know this law and order. Then this law and order, they all have their own differences. It is only a fan that can give you this code. Once you get this code, it means that you are on the path of growth. Your loso, your soul is now on its journey. So your poly, as we say, your path, the path that you walk on before you came to where this your body in this existence, that path is there. It can never be erased. So there is a need for you, for me, to go through a fan and understand yourself. If you don't know who you are, what you wear, if, if you don't know what you wear and you don't know who you are now, how will you be able to know yourself tomorrow? You can't. So we have African spirituality. We have African meditations. And these meditations, they are there to lift you up into the hall of all knowing, into the world of consciousness. So what we are going to do is that we are going to help each and every one of you to grow, to know yourself. The last time we were saying that your family stool, your family lineage, there are rules and regulations governing each and every one of you and your home, and your family lineage. There are rules and regulations. So all of these things, there are key factors there that you can use to meditate with. Meditate with. In our homes, the family stool, the name of your family stool is a very powerful and sacred name. If you don't understand the name of your family stool, Toto Sao is here to give you the meaning. Just call me. Mention the stool name. I'll give you the, the meaning of your stool name. So, we are here to assist you for you to be able to re-establish, reconnect with your ancient energy. There is a need that you rebirth yourself. Go back to yourself. Go back to your inner self so that you can be able to connect with your fan. A fan that came to establish everything as you see, including you, there is a need for us to make one with ourselves. So we have what we call spirituality. And this spirituality, if you don't understand what you are doing, you will not get to where you want to get to. African spirituality is about knowing yourself. You are born on Tuesday, right? You are born on Wednesday, right? Sunday, right? Fine. What it means is that that day that you were born, there is a code, there is a meaning of that day that you are also going to pick things from to support your spiritual growth. The month that you were born has meaning in a fan. Just call me and give me the day you were born, the month you were born. Tutu Sao will give you a spiritual shock. What brought you into this life? You will get to know it. So we have our spiritual doors open. They are open to each and every one of you. Come back home, know yourself, Pick your family stool, your family lineage, and re-establish it and construct your progress. It's very, very, very necessary. So in this life, we are wearing this body to re-do what? Grow to our spiritual consciousness. 
when this woolly, this body, you see the soul. The last time I told you that the soul as it is, is always innocent. So a fan said, a fan said, your soul, your loso, loso, loso meji. A fan said, your soul is always innocent. That the body the soul is wearing as this body as your body, it is the body that has been putting the soul into so many temptations. But always the soul is pure as it is. You look at the whole universe, it's a material world. And your body is a material. So material is attracting material. As for the soul, it's always pure. Excuse my language. If somebody should use something to kill a fellow human being, it is not your soul. It is not that person's soul that pushed that person to go and kill his fellow human being. It is his holy. It is his body. The body is what has been pushing you. If you want to buy a big car and sit inside, it is not your soul that wants to sit in that car. It is your body that is getting attraction to that vehicle, to that expensive jewelry, to that expensive whatever you are getting. But your soul doesn't want such things. What your soul wants is control your body so your soul can expand and your ancient African system is having these keys to give. We have these keys. A fan is ready for you. A fan is everything. So African spirituality is there and each and every one of you should try your very best to get connected. Get yourself connected. Come back home. Let's make it work. Let's Africa come back to its stand. You know, once you understand your spiritual code and the code of your body, now you are going to work on your body for your body to be very friendly with your loso, with your soul. Then the two can work together. So once the two is working together, it will help the soul to expand. Now, when the soul expands, is going to open your subconscious mind the hall of all knowing which we call chi this hall of all knowing this hall of consciousness that we call chi it is waiting for you so get yourself ready let us help you for you to connect to your inner world Connect your inner world of consciousness. Connect with your inner world of what? Consciousness. It is very, very necessary. So today, we are here with meditation. I'm going for a quick commercial break and I'll be right back. Welcome back. Welcome back. But to a book, all of a boy, good way. But to a Manyo, manyo, ne no vie, no vie, we nya uye, amo izue, boi, boi, bo, yebe kwa boi kutue, ma kwa kwa bara izu, kwa chwa kwa kola vangalo, yebe kwa boi kutue, Ma kwa kwa bara izu o Kwa chwa kwa kola vange Ba manyo manyo na tovi e Tovi we nya uye Manyo manyo na novi e Novi we nya uye Amo izu e Boi boi bo
your ancient fathers are saying that if you want your soul to grow and hit the world of consciousness, you must follow the person who is already conscious. So if anybody at all want to take you into the world of consciousness, that he himself hasn't been there, know for sure that the two of you will perish. The two of you will get lost because the one who is leading you doesn't know the path to the world of consciousness. It is a big advice from your ancient father. The two mad people cannot walk into the world of consciousness. One must have been attained the world of consciousness before leading another. So we have African spirituality. This is just the beginning of what this ancient teaching about meditation, about African spirituality. African spirituality is there waiting for you. It has been there since time, since the beginning of time. And it is there. It can never get erased. So my people, I want all of you to come back home. Let us all do it together so that we can reconstruct our ancient home. Your family lineage need what? Reconstruction. You have to maintain it. So we are going to end it here so that the next time we'll dive more into the African meditation or African spirituality. So today I'm just taking the opportunity to let you know that Africa, Africa, your ancient fathers did have what we call spirituality. That spirituality is personal journey. Spirituality is personal journey. It's different from spiritism. It's different from the voodoo, what we use voodoo for. Spirituality is different from that. We'll be talking about spiritism as voodoo. But today we are handling spirituality, which lead you and your soul to the creator. Which do what? It lead you to the creator. So we are ready to help you to help you grow your soul. You must attain the word of consciousness. So we're ending it here. My name, Toto Sao, and we have been talking on African spirituality meditation. Thank you. Ma do ba do mi, ma do ba do ho ho va kara le ya o mi a o nu ba. Ma do ba do mi, va kara le ya o mi a o nu ba. Ma ka o nya kala to, nya le nya kala to.